the 10 biggest sea dinosaurs that ever existed on Earth. The ocean is a pretty terrifying place, filled with sharks, venomous fish, and giant squids to name a few. But whatever lives in the sea nowadays can't be compared with the huge monsters that dominated the depths millions of years ago. And by monsters, I mean long extinct marine reptiles and dinosaurs. Since many people are better acquainted with the land roaming giants of the past, this video will open your eyes to those that ruled the waters. Before we dive into the prehistoric oceans, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. As an official Brightsider, you'll always be in the know when we post something new for you, which is on the daily. 10. Pliosaurus Now, at first glance at this animal, your first thought is probably, whoa, a prehistoric crocodile! But looks can be deceiving, because the two aren't really related. Pliosaurus was a genus of eight species belonging to the larger family of Pliosaurs. These prehistoric reptiles were characterized by short necks, massive heads, and broad flippers. Pliosauruses lived during the late Jurassic period, around 150 to 145 million years ago. Their remains were first discovered in Norway in the middle of the 19th century. They certainly were real giants, with the largest species weighing more than 30 tons and growing up to 40 feet long. Also, this animal had an incredibly strong bite. In fact, it was four times more powerful than that of the mighty T-Rex. 9. Chronosaurus Speaking of the Pliosaur family, there's also the Chronosaurus. It had all the typical features of a Pliosaur. A large head with massive jaws, a short neck, and a thick, squarish trunk. They probably lived all over the world given that their fossils have been discovered in both Australia and Colombia. The largest Chronosaurus ever found was 34 feet long from snout to tail, and likely weighed about 12 tons. This marine reptile's teeth weren't really deadly. They were only a few inches long and not all that sharp. Despite this fact, Chronosaurus was a savage and successful predator. When pursuing its prey, it could reach super high speeds, and its bite was extremely powerful. 8. Nothosaurus According to fossil evidence, these creatures were relatives of the Pliosaurs and lived about 230 million years ago. At about 15 feet long, the Nothosaurus wasn't among the largest prehistoric sea creatures, but it was one of the most vicious. These reptiles had long, needle-sharp teeth that it used to catch squid and fish. Some experts state that Nothosauruses could snap their long heads sideways to catch a passing fish, kind of like how a crocodile does. Surprisingly, researchers say that these reptiles shared a lot of similar features with the modern sea lion. Nothosauruses had four legs that they could use to walk, just like sea lions do. Also, they lived and hunted in the ocean, but could come out on the shore to rest. Finally, experts still can't determine if they laid eggs or actually gave birth to their young. Hence the name, False Lizard. 7. Styxosaurus The Styxosaurus belonged to the Plesiosaur family and lived during the late Cretaceous period around 85 to 70 million years ago. Upon first glance at this dinosaur, you might mistake it for a sea snake, and it'd be an honest mistake. Styxosauruses were about 35 feet in length, but over 16 feet of that consisted just of their long snake-like neck. They had a comparatively small body and weighed approximately 4 tons. Their mouths were full of razor-sharp, cone-shaped teeth that they used to catch fish. They didn't need to chew their prey thanks to the 200 small stones called gastroliths in their bellies that probably aided in digestion. At the same time, some scientists believe that the Styxosaurus used these stones to sink to the ocean bottom in search of particular types of fish. Hmm, looks kinda like Nessie to me. 6. Alberto Nectis 
the Alberto Nectus was another representative of the plesiosaur family, meaning that this marine reptile had a small head on an incredibly long neck and large flipper-like limbs that helped it move through the water. These creatures occupied the sea around North America 76 to 70 million years ago. The length of this sea monster could reach 38 feet, with its neck taking up 23 feet of that length. Its neck was a true record breaker. It had a whopping 76 bones in it. No other animal known to humankind has had so many vertebrae in its neck. Scientists aren't sure why they needed such a lengthy neck. Alberto Nectuses might have used it to collect shellfish off the seabed, or perhaps it helped them capture their main prey, fish and squids. This aquatic reptile also had gastroliths in its stomachs. Some of them were as big as five and a half inches in diameter. 5. Thalazalmedon Thalazalmedon means sea lord in ancient Greek, and there's a pretty good reason behind this name. These representatives of the plesiosaur family were huge predators that could reach 40 feet in length. That's about as big as a four-story building. Their long, flipper-like limbs could grow up to 7 feet in length, allowing them to move through the water with shocking efficiency. The Thalazalmedon's amazing neck had 62 vertebrae and could be up to 20 feet in length. That's half its body size. Like most plesiosaurs, these creatures had comparatively small heads, measuring just 19 inches. But that tiny head was full of long, sharp teeth that reached almost 2 inches in length. However, these reptiles were unlikely to use their teeth for purposes other than catching prey. Just like other plesiosaurs, their stomachs were full of stones that probably helped with digestion by rubbing up against each other when the gastric walls moved, crushing and grinding up the fish inside. 4. Tylosaurus The Tylosaurus belonged to the Mosasaur family. It dominated the shallow seas of North America about 85 to 80 million years ago. This was an enormous predator, with the biggest representatives reaching 45 feet in length. It had a narrow hydrodynamic body with a blunt, powerful head that the animal used to ram and stun its prey. Its body was equipped with agile flippers and a long tail decorated with a maneuverable fin. The Tylosaurus was a carnivore, and its diet included not only fish, turtles, and small sharks, but also other mosasaurs, plesiosaurs, and flightless birds. 3. The Shonisaurus The Shonisaurus lived on our planet during the late Triassic period, approximately 215 million years ago. The remains of this creature were first discovered in Nevada in 1920, not far from the Shoshone Mountains. This prehistoric reptile resembled a huge chubby dolphin. It was about 50 feet long and weighed approximately 30 tons which is more than the combined weight of two sperm whales. There's an even more fascinating fact about the Shoniosaurus, other than its incredible size. This creature didn't have any teeth. Researchers figured out that its babies had teeth when they were born, but they fell out as they matured. One theory suggests that Shoniosauruses probably didn't need teeth due to their sheer size. 2. Mosasaurus the Mosasaurus is a truly gigantic predator that dominated the seas all over the world about 66 million years ago. According to fossil evidence, some specimens could be more than 50 feet in length. This fact makes the Mosasaurus the biggest marine carnivore of its time. One of the most terrifying things about this creature was its crocodile-like head, decorated with literally hundreds of razor-sharp teeth neatly organized in two rows on both jaws. The thing is that it was pretty challenging for the Mosasaurus to grab its prey in the water. That's why it had all these teeth. Plus, something special, pterygoid teeth anchored to the bones on the roof of its mouth. This made hunting and holding onto its prey much easier. 1. Shastasaurus The Shastasaurus is the biggest marine reptile that has ever existed. These predators lived during the late Triassic period about 210 million years ago. These amazing giants could reach lengths of up to 69 feet and weighed more than 75 tons. 
This made the Shasta source as heavy as a blue whale, and if you could stand this creature up vertically, it'd be as tall as a seven-story building. Despite appearances, the Shastasaurus was actually pretty slim for its size. Its rib cage was only six feet across. Yeah, only. You'd think that this big guy was chowing down on other dinosaurs, but that's not the case at all. This reptile survived on a diet that consisted of small fish and cephalopods, like octopuses and squid. What giant sea creature impressed you most of all? Do you know of any other aquatic dinosaurs that we forgot to mention? Sound off in the comments below. If you learned something new from today's video, give it a like and send it to your friends. Knowledge is something that should always be shared. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because life is more exciting on the bright side.